What's up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Death to Canada with Dog and Pony Chivo Hunting Edition. I'm Dog and Pony and this is Death to Canada. We are trying to get Dog Squad and thus far we have mildly succeeded. We do need to pick up some food. Uh oh. Uh, unfortunately we will not be picking up some food. Do we have anybody that has good mechanical skills? Not Dog and Pony. Probably not Cameron, but he's paranoid, so he might be able to get it done anyway. Let's try Cameron here. Oh, he improvises. The results don't look pretty, but they managed to keep the zombies out. Mechanical is revealed as <laughs> worse than dog and ponies and increased to the same amount as dog and ponies. The group is low on food and eats less. We lose four food. I guess we didn't cut it in half, unfortunately. Uh, we just did one per person. So, well, one per person and one per dog. So the dogs ate the full amount that they would normally eat. And the people only ate half. Dog and Pony's morale decreases. Everybody's morale decreases. That's lame, because the dogs still got the normal amount of food that they'd always get. Lame stuff right there. Keep your eyes open for anything suspicious. Always be looting. We're going to go to an apartment row. More kitchens means more food, right? Uh, mild, irritated, morning, explore apartments. That's good. Uh, you guys don't really need these weapons. I don't think you actually use them. I think you just kind of carry them. And I'll keep the grenade for good measure. I guess we need to find five food, though significantly more than that would be preferable. Uh, 11 would be preferable. A minimum of 11. Obviously, like, a thousand would be ideal. I, I won't settle for anything less than a thousand food. Empty bathroom. Not to hurt that zombie's feelings or anything. He just has no significance to me whatsoever. Try this out. Uh, still nothing, loot-wise. We'll, you know, be... We'll, we'll push on. We'll keep trying. How about this room? Nothing. Wowzers. I mean, we got some ammunition. Don't, don't let me lead you to believe we found literally nothing. And now we've got food. At least two here. Hopefully, I'd say at least three. Maybe even five. Four. That's good. That's. I can deal with that. I don't think we'll lose this run. Worst case scenario, we win it with less than four dogs and we just make some progress toward our five game win streak and even our uh, 10 mode streak. Did we kill that zombie? I have no idea. It's one building down and like probably three or four to go. <clears throat> Very hopeful that we'll get even more food. Uh oh, okay, don't accidentally throw the grenade but get it ready just in case. Bedtime snacks? Nope, just bedtime bullets, I guess. That sounds... Bedtime bullets is a... Uh, it's a game I'm working on. It's a nightmare-esque uh, shooter where you go to sleep and then have to defend yourself in your dreams. That sounds terrible. I'm not really making that. Um... If you do make it, feel free to credit me, and you also have to give me 18% royalties on all profits. Yeah, minimum. I mean, you can give me more if you want, but I'll take 18. It's good. Toilet full of gasoline. I'm, I'm glad we're picking up these medical supplies, too. Uh, it's a good thing to have. Ooh, it's a nice thing to just stack up on. Especially this early on. There's still 11 days left. There's still more time left in this one than the total time in the last one. Gotta keep that in mind. Which gives us more time to prepare and also more time to lose. We'll pick up that cowboy rifle because I don't think we have one. I think we just have a shotgun and a pistol. So I'll pick this up even though I can't technically use it. Uh, just so we have it for later. Maybe we'll have a dog that learns how to shoot a gun. Something like that. I don't want Dog and Pony to have three guns. Though, I don't see why not. 
If we have enough ammo for it, that is. It's going to be totally fine. <clears throat> All right. Uh, nothing in here. Oh, well. Have we even found any more food since that last building? I don't think we have. It's a little bit of a disappointment, but we'll probably find a kitchen in that last room. Wait, we did find more food. We have eight food? When did that happen? Oh, well. I, I'm happy about it. I don't recall picking that up, but maybe I commented on it at the time and then promptly forgot. It happens. Is there another block down below? There's not? That's everything? All right, let's get out of here. We have enough food for the night, and that's all that matters. All right. Cool. We're, we've kind of gotten back to a normal amount of supplies. Hey, it's the lone jerk. It's nice to see a familiar face. He's kicking a car in frustration. The car is emitting plumes of smoke. Uh, we don't want him. Sorry, Lone Jerk. We're going to leave you behind. We have to keep our friend of dog and uh, a paranoid person is a lot of help, as well as just martial arts. So leave the Lone Jerk behind. Sorry, Lone Jerk, but you're better off by yourself. As we've learned, a Ouija board. The group is poking through an abandoned house and finds a Ouija board on the kitchen table. It's a common game used to communicate with ghosts. These things, I, I want to use it, but there's... All of these have really bad outcomes. So let's leave this nonsense alone. Sorry. I know I said that after we beat all the game modes, we'd be having fun most of the time, but I really got to get those streak achievements. Dog and Pony didn't mind the weather much. Uh, Cameron's morale goes down though. Really friggin' low. Dustin didn't mind it much. His attitude's revealed is really nice. Cameron's morale increases because we eat a meal. That's good. Not great, but good. Let's try out... Let's try to find a faster car. This is taking forever. This is a really fast sports car. Tree in the road. We are not strong enough to lift this tree. And unfortunately, this detour is going to use a lot of our gas. Uh, How's our chassis? It's fine. Let's plow through. And the car gets through but takes some damage. Fine by me. The engine's going to break faster anyway. Crowded city. Sporting goods store or furniture store? The furniture store will have nothing of value in it. The sporting goods store will have a little bit of food, some weapons, and there will be, you know, other apartments around as well that have more food. So we should be fine food-wise, I hope. I'm going to leave behind the pistol. Stack it so I don't forget. Uh, leave behind the rifle, obviously. I'll, I'm going to use Kung Fu. Yeah. All right. Let's do this. Goodness gracious. That was quite a violent screen shake. All right. We need to, you know, loot as quickly as we can, but I haven't seen any houses to even go into yet. It's really narrow and tall. It's a very odd layout for a city here been a while since we've seen one quite like this, if ever. Can we cut through here? Yes. Okay. So here's a building. Maybe it'll have a couple kitchens in it. Because it looks like a tall apartment building. Drawer full of food. Drawer full of bullets. Fine. Fine. Uh, food. That's actually food right there. That's good. A lot of ammunition. I swear I just picked up shotgun ammo and it didn't display on my little HUD thing. I got it. It just, it wasn't displaying down where I picked stuff up. We don't need another cowboy rifle. That's fine. We'll go in here. Nothing in there. Let's close that door so we don't get too sandwiched. And check out the rest of these rooms. More ammunition that we really don't need. So much ammunition that we just really, really do not care about. Dog and Pony will use it eventually, but even he's going to be gone eventually just need two more dogs and no more death no death whatsoever because no one's died yet so not no more death just no death that'd be lucky that's ha that's happened a lot recently though where we don't actually have any characters die 
We might give up a couple, but they don't die. We just leave them behind. This is pretty nice. We are definitely improving at this game, and it's in large part thanks to you guys, and thanks to the fact that I play it almost every day. Or at least I average like 20 minutes of gameplay a day. 25, maybe. Even on the days I don't play, I've got, you know, like a backlog going. One food. Uh, how much do we need? Three total to find here? Because we have three in the car. I'd like to get our surplus going back up, but at the very least, we do need to find three. There's one. Okay, we're all set. We are not going to be grumps tonight about our food situation. That's good. Maybe we'll find a grocery store tomorrow or ne in our next encounter. I think we can have more than one of these in a day. Or we could get like a gas station siege and there could be food in the convenience mart area. Things like that. We're picking up so much ammunition. We're going to have a massive surplus of ammunition and no way of acquiring food with it. Almost missed the kitchen. I was going to say this room here. And then I went into it and it was a kitchen with nine or more food in it. We now have enough food for two days. Thank you very much. We are going to be absolutely fine when it comes to eating for two more days. Then we just have eight more days to deal with and trade food. We need to, we want to be able to buy some stuff, right? Definitely got to find the nearest grocery store. I feel like you almost never want to give up uh, an opportunity to go to a grocery store like sometimes you, you want to go to a pharmacy instead but when there's a grocery store you can use those supplies to buy medical supplies and that's almost always gonna be well maybe not see it's not always possible so if you're really desperate for help you go to the pharmacy but in any other situation you really just you go to the grocery store Let's keep going. We haven't even found our sporting goods store yet. I have a feeling it doesn't exist. <laughs> and I'm okay with that because we've got a lot of stuff that we actually needed instead. Yep. I'm pretty sure there's no sporting goods store around here. Or did I go into it and promptly forget? I believe I've already spoken of this in regards to a different thing that I did and then promptly forgot. All right, probably some medical supplies. Probably no food in this room. That's nice though. Ouchie spray is so rare. I mean, it makes sense. It's really good, it's good to have. But you'd think it would be a little bit more common. Oh my goodness gracious. And somebody else picked up some food too, so we have more than 14. Maybe even 16. Nope, just 15. Darn. Not that I'm complaining about it, that's really good, but, you know. Getting late. Uh, we're done here, we're done. It's time to go back to the car. With no sporting goods store. It's really odd. I thought they fixed all those bugs that would make things not spawn. Hey dog, please stop doing whatever you're doing. Okay. He was picking up and putting down that shotgun and then just uh, finally realized he should attack something and was far enough away from the shotgun that he didn't want to pick it up again, which is good. I need to look again, make sure there's no sporting goods store. Make sure I didn't miss it. There's nothing up above this block for sure. There's nothing else that we missed. Did we sneak past this way? Yes! Oh, thank goodness. We would not have made it back the other way very easily. Let's get in the car and get out of here. Without our sporting goods. I was really looking forward to those sporting goods. 15 food. Incredible. Up to 18. Three days worth. Wow. And nearly doubling our uh, medical supply supply. Car breakdown. We're not going to be able to fix it. Probably a better idea just to abandon it and be on foot for a little while. Let's do it. Not the best op option, but the best one we had. Uh, Cameron can climb this without dying. At, at the very least, he can climb it without dying. He might not be able to climb it without getting hurt, but he can climb it without dying, and that's what we're going to go for. Yes! 
His plan works out fine. He spots something in the distance. He gets to see a majestic view. Cameron's fitness is revealed as frowny, but his morale increases. So I'm pretty sure, and I've talked about this before, but I'm pretty sure what happens here is if you don't climb the tree or you fail to climb the tree, the next encounter is guaranteed to be bandits. If you succeed in climbing the tree, the next encounter is guaranteed to be a car. Or not. Okay, I'm full of crap. While walking through the woods, Dog and Pony doesn't pay attention to where he is going and falls into a deep puddle of water. His gear is fully submerged, putting supplies in danger. We lost four food, almost an entire day's worth right there. Three medical supplies, wow. And a bunch of ammo. His morale is disgustingly low. Dangerously low. Good place to rest. The group finds a rest stop after hours of walking along the road. Right in front of it is a car that looks like it can be driven. The keys must be somewhere near. It's a moderate hunting swarm near noon. We'll check out that car. This is fine. We're good. Let's dive right into this rest stop. We're gonna get a good food truck. If only these came supplied with some food, that'd be pretty nice. I can't believe we just got all dirty. That's so lame. I thought for sure we were gonna encounter a car immediately. I mean, it, you, you could hear me. I was definitely very sure. And it didn't pan out for us for maybe the first time ever. Two food, two food. Okay, we got back what we lost. That's cool. That's fine. We're gonna, we're still gonna be fine on food. I'd really love to find a grocery store, get a major surplus going, but we don't need it. We just need enough to uh, stay full, really. I don't think any big, there's, there's nothing weapon wise that we absolutely need because eventually we will just be dogs. Unfortunately, during the final sieges, we can't leave anyone in the car, so we can't just use the uh, dog solo looting method of running around using our dexterity. I... I don't think I really have much of a chance with only dogs to get through the final sieges. Now that I'm thinking about it, I really wish I had done some of the rare character mode ones first, achievement hunting wise. I don't know what we're gonna do. Unless there's some major bonus when you get a party full of dogs, like all of them get a second inventory slot and the ability to use weapons or something. Let's get out of here. We've got the keys, we've got the loot. We are ready to head back out on the road in our food truck. Uh, no we're not. We're gonna wait, play it safe here. Wait for these zombies to come inside. We could have probably squeezed through, but it would have been dangerous for the rest of the group. I think Cameron could have made it, but somebody else might have gotten hurt. Let's go. All right. That wasn't too bad. Get in the car. Everybody's in. Start it up. For some reason, that dog dropped its shotgun. Guess we'll never get that back. But we don't need it. Six. Food brings us up to 20. Still three days worth. But now we have a little extra as well. Smelly campsite. How's our morale looking? Bad. But the food should raise it back up after we endure the smell. So mor morale goes down for everybody. But dog and pony should go back up. Oh good, and Cameron's did too. That's, that's better than I expected, to be honest. We're all just l a little bit frowny, and that's fine. Molotov making, leave the house. Absolutely not gonna make Molotovs. That's ridiculous. It uses way too much gas and they're way too dangerous. Run over the zombie, run over that zombie. Yeah, trading on the death road, 14 food left. We'll visit the trader camp. We don't have a small enough amount of food to get anything for free, but we might be able to just find free food on, on like in cabinets here. Oh boy. Ooh boy. And ammo. My guess is this house is gonna be pretty empty then. A pipe bomb. We are getting pretty explosive here. Army surplus, fortress. We don't want to spend any food on grenades. Not now, they're just too expensive and we don't have enough food. Blunt master. I, as much as I want to find out what a claw hammer is. No, that's nothing special. That's just a regular old hammer, isn't it? We can't afford the sledgehammer, nor could we even use it effectively. Leave her. 
Claw hammer sounds cooler than it is. It's just a regular hammer. The group finds a man selling a bunch of firearms. We don't want any of those. Sorry, mister. Let's get out of here. We got some good free stuff. I'm happy with it. Alrighty. Nine days left until Canada. And... Burning through gas pretty quickly. Cabin siege. Siege alert. There's no escape. It's before dawn. Which means it'll get easier as we go. The group gets surrounded by an approaching horde. They seek shelter in a nearby cabin. One hour long. Try to survive. We should be fine. I'll bring both of these. Just in case. All right. Though, I wish I had just called the run and or called the video and been like, I'll do this siege tomorrow. I mean, I wouldn't have known about the siege, but then the, the next video would pick up with a siege. Which, since I think this might be the last video I'm recording before I have to uh, ship my PSU into the manufacturer for a replacement, um, I'd pick it back up like five or six days from now and be doing the siege. I might record one more, so I don't know. But I don't know if I'll have time tonight. If I do, I will. If I don't, I won't. That's, that's how it goes. I do have to record one episode of Nuclear Throne as well. I think I'm going to pick up this crap. Nail board is what I wanted. Uh, I now have a piece of wood that I dropped. The dog picked up. Nail board. Oh, thank goodness. The piece of wood being where it was almost made us die. Who am I controlling? It's Cameron, but he's like not going where I'm trying to make him go. That was really odd. Let's get out of this death trap right there. I'm not done in the cabin. Oh, no, no, no. Am I, am I done in the cabin? I am not. Let's keep killing the zombies. Ugh. It's so dark. It should be getting lighter. It's 4 a.m. now, 4.30 a.m. Sunrise is any second, depending on the time of year, of course. Sometimes it's still dark at like 9 a.m., depending on where you live and the day of the year. All right, it's raining pretty hard. Those clouds are probably keeping the sun from really showing. Yes, let's hit the road. That wasn't too bad. We got five food out of it, too. That's pretty nice, to be honest. And that is all for now, but thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that like button, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I will see you in the next episode.